Okay, picking it up where I left off. Uh, going into the... I came up and I'm going into the three brands and I'm going to add a silver 15 um, silver line gold seed bead in between the bronzes and I'm going to go up and up and up and here we have to go one more time around you'll probably be pulling a little bit on that and that will tighten things up I'm going to go around one more time. I promise this is the last time. More in the middle. And I'm doing this because we need the these corners, seat beads later on, to go from the corner to the side. So, picking that up, going into that silver, first silver seat bead that I added in that corner, and then I'm going to move over to this side, into the three brands, adding that silver seat bead, oops, or a silver lined gold seat bead. And on the corners too. That corner. And that next corner. And here, picking up that one in the corner again. Turning to the top. Oh, oops, I added one. I'm still tired, guys. I've been working uh, in my yard and uh, getting the weeds out and, well, making it basically low maintenance. And I had some help with that last Friday from my uncle, but I still need to finish that. But that's okay. Did I take that seat bead off? Yep. Going through the bronze. Adding one. Three bronze. Adding one. And I'm adding the silver lined gold so it won't stand out too much. It gives a nice little bling extra there in the middle. Oops. And where I went wrong with the previous video is I totally forgot this one. And as and as I was editing, I was thinking, ah, stupid. Pay attention. Okay, these three. That corner seat beat again. Turn into three browns. And one more. And the one in the corner. And the one in that corner. More in the middle. And the gold in the corner. 
And now we're going to try and pull that uh, pull that is in there to the side out of there by pulling this side. And one more. And if all is correct, then you should be able to straighten everything out again. But in case you're not, there is like a delicate solution after that. Okay, now, last one. And now I'm going to go up all the way to the middle one. And that looks pretty straight. And just pull that. So if this is not straight, then later on we'll get back to how to fix that. So we're coming out of the silver line gold right now, and now it's tricky because here I use Preciosa. Here I actually use Swarovski. And as you can see, that even though this is three millimeters both, these look smaller than these, okay? So what you need to do is you need to make sure that your AVA bead is straight and you need to pull the thread over here and see how many beads fit on there before you uh, reach this bronze set of three. So if all is correct, that would be about um, five, ten, maybe eleven. I'm going to go with 11. Let me see how many I did here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I did 10 there. Okay, so let me go with 10 first. But that's basically up to what chain you are using. Now I'm going to go 11 because of the, the difference in... There's a little difference in length. Yeah, I'm gonna go with 11, and I got a fly bothering me also, so you might hear him zoom by. So, got 11, and I'm gonna go in there to the other side. Um, grab in the three, and I'm doing another 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. I'm going to double count that. 3, 4, 5, 5, 11. And I'm going to go into that silver line that's in the corner right there. Okay. Now, very important, you pick up the very first bronze okay and you're gonna go 10 up because you're sharing one so you got 10 left one two three four five one two three four five and up the three going over to the other side I love it when it goes through there just like that, very easily. And down to three. And now we need 11 again, because there's no share here yet. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and one. And picking up that silver lined gold again in that corner. Okay, I'm going to pick up the first one again and make sure you pick up the first one because I noticed that I also managed to, for some reason, pick up the second one. So you're picking up the first one and then it's 10 again. 1, 2, 
three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and one. Oh, it's ten. I said it's ten again. So, right here we go. And to the other side. Kind of helps having a crooked needle. And we're going to do 11 again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, and one. And into that silver lined gold in the middle again. And now we've got to go all the way to the bottom over here. And poof. First, we're going to pick up that first one that we share. That shared one. There we go. Now, let's see. I'm going to make sure that that's straight too. Pulling a little bit, but that's okay. I know how to solve that. So, one, two, three, maybe seventeen, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I've got 15. Let me see how far 15 will get me. Yeah, it looks like it's two more. So that's 17. Yeah, that looks about right and then to the other side. And that means if you do 17 here, you do 16 there because you're going to share that last seat bead right there. pick up that bronze and then I'm going to go into that silver lined gold and if all is correct you're about the end of your thread but we're going to go around one more time so we're going to pick up all the bronzes including the one you shared and then we're going to go around one more time to kind of make it go uh, the beads more fluent, more joined with each other. See that that looks a lot nicer right here than it does right here. So you got to make them a little bit. And actually, if you have more thread, the more you can go through there, the better. And now we got to go through all of these and be careful that you don't skip one because that's gonna ruin everything. So got that one going into oh I still need the shared one very hard to see because he's right in the middle so make sure that you got your glasses on and you're not tired when you do this one if you need glasses that is I do into the silver lined gold and now we're gonna pick up that shared again and we're going to go through all the ones to the top. And it looks good. Okay. To the other side again. All the way down, 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 down 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 pick up the shared one into the silver line gold pick up the shared one 
and all the way to the side. And to the other side, down, and into the shared one, the silver lined gold, and the shared one, and all the way down. You can't pick them up all at once, don't worry. Just grab that last one last to the other side and now only this one up. I'm gonna go all the way up. And picking up that shared one. And into the silver lined. Now we're going to go into the side, into the bronze, and we're going to go to the end, coming out of the bronze. So don't pick up the, the silver line again. I'm going to go into that gold seat beads, 50 now, going down. Going to the back, into the pearl. I'm going to go underneath the threads of the pearl and we're going to pull that uh, thread through and just make that little loop to go through. Again, same threads and through the loop. So you got two knots right now and we're going to go into the next pearl and we're going to cut that off zipper to zip see I'm so tired I even zipped in my finger right here got a little blister going over there so that's it now it does still pull a little bit so we're going to fix that right now we all need some wildfire just a little tiny bit because we're just going to go up straight because this isn't pulling but this is so that needs to be straight I'm just going to go in to the pearl in the bottom and then we're going to go up and we're going to add our delicas I got some bronze delicas um, to kind of stay in that uh, bronze mood. So I've got bronze delicas going in between my pearls. Just kind of hold on to that end till so that doesn't get away from you. And the fact that you're using wildfire also makes it a little stronger and we're going to tie that off. So all the way up, and we're not going to add delicas here in the corner because you already got the bronze seat beads there. So we're just going to move over. And then we go down. All the way towards the end tail.
pulling that thread a little bit because we're going to pull the knot in there and then before we tighten it up uh, and then we're going to tighten it up while that knot is in the middle so that you get everything straight so we're going to double knot but don't pull it too tight just double knot it go into that pearl pull that knot in there and now pull it straight on both sides straighten it out and now you have a straight cross and if you don't pull it a little left pull it a little right so that's basically it. Now work the end tails away into the pearls and the delicas and see where you come out and burn that off. Also goes that way because that knot is there. Still has to go. I heard it pop, but it kind of popped back. So I'm going in the same direction here. Okay. And there we go. Now, all you have to do is just add a little jump ring. And I did some chain here because, you know, this has uh, got a nice vintage look. So, um, yeah, if you got some vintage looking chain, you can use that. And that there is a little bit of difference, as you can see. Um, these seat beads are a little bit more rounded. You can try and uh, use one less. But uh, I think overall this part looks better than this part, but it, you know, it's different. Depends on, on what kind of uh, middle cup chain you use. As I said, this one is smaller looking than this one, but they're both sold for three millimeters. So I hope you enjoyed it guys, and uh, I'm sorry I'm late, and I'm sorry I made a mistake, but here's part two, and I hope to see you guys uh, soon. I will be working on the pattern starting tonight, um, and um, I hope to have that finished before the end of the week. I'm pretty sure I will, because I only have to work two days this week, and then Wednesday I got off. So I will start on it today, and then hopefully finish it Wednesday or Thursday. So see you guys next time. Bye.